What are five business skills that you must learn in 2021? Let's find out. So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up. Don't miss out. So why these five skills? Why these five? Well, very simple. These are the five skills that I personally believe that you need the most for 2021 to move ahead in your career or in your business. As we know, 2020 did not turn out the way we all wanted. Yeah, so to move ahead, we got to build, first of all, new skills and we got to master and overcome these bad things that we did over the last year. Skill number one are presentation skills. You have to become a great presenter. Yeah, and this means two things. This means offline, you have presentations at your business, your company, to your customers, speeches in front of large groups, okay? But also, of course, nowadays, online as well. Yeah, over Zoom, over Microsoft Teams, go to meetings, whatever it might be for you, okay? But you gotta become good at both of these. Why do you wanna become a great presenter? Well, very, very simple. Great presenters are usually also pretty good leaders. Yeah, they can win over audiences, they can persuade, they can inspire, they can motivate, they can clarify. So you gotta become a great presenter. I'm gonna leave a couple of videos here up for you somewhere, what I believe is the most important one. Yeah, about the seven principles of presentation. Make sure you watch that. Also, I'm gonna share with you another video that I made about um, Zoom presentation tips and online presentation tips as well. So watch these and master this skill. Number two, you wanna become good at habit building. You wanna create your habit building skills. Yeah, so many people in the last years, what have they done? Have they built good habits or bad habits? Yes, many of us, we've been guilty of creating and building bad habits in all areas of our life, from work to our health, to our relationship, to your personal growth, of course, as well, whatever it might be. You gotta stop that. You gotta now become very good at habit building, not just to reverse these bad habits that you probably have been building this last year, no, but also to create great new ones. Again, I'm gonna leave a video here for you where you can dive a little bit deeper into the topic as well. Number three, cross-culture skills. Now, what do I mean by that? More specifically, actually, I mean more cross-cultural communication skills and also cross-cultural leadership skills. You wanna become a great leader. Yeah, you wanna become a great manager of people from different countries, different cultures. The challenge is to do that, yeah, you gotta master culture. You gotta understand the differences. I believe as we go moving towards the future, it doesn't matter if you have your small business or if you work in a big company, you're gonna work more and more with people from different cultures, from different backgrounds. And you just have to become good at managing them, leading them and working together with them as well. Yeah, is it an easy thing to do? No, I've been doing it for a very long time. Yeah, all my big large company clients, they've been doing this for a long time. But the way that I see it and the way that I see the trend also with our clients, moving towards the future, more and more people from abroad will join your team. Yeah, because no matter what this pandemic did, everything has become more virtual, true? So it's also much easier for companies and teams really to get new members from different places around the world. So you have to become a cross-cultural communication. You gotta become very, very good at it. Number four, self-promotion skills. If you're not good at promoting yourself yet, ah, you're in trouble. Yeah, if you're watching this and you're already great, wonderful. If not, this should be one of your goals this year to become better at promoting yourself. This could mean so many different things for you. Yeah, if you work in a company or if you're an entrepreneur, an expert, a content creator, it doesn't matter. It could be many things. It could be creating a YouTube channel, you know, and build a following. It could be writing a book. Yeah, it could be that you're writing more articles in your field, you give more speeches, whatever it might be, but you wanna become an expert in your area of work. Even if you work in a small or medium-sized company and you're an employee, yeah, you still wanna become the expert for something. You wanna become good at promoting yourself. You know why that is? Because that guarantees your future career. 
right? The person who is invaluable to the company, what happens to them? Do they ever get fired? No, <laughs> right? The entrepreneur who shares a lot of information and is kind of an expert in their field for their clients and their customers, do they ever, are they ever short of customers? Usually not. <laughs> so do it this year, build your self-promotion skills. And number five, the last one are really people skills. You want to become better and better and better working with people. The cross-cultural factor is one, I think it's a very important one, but you also have to be better at communicating with others. You have to get better at understanding different personality types, different backgrounds, people with different values, and you really want to emerge as a leader, not just understand it, but use it and really build a strong team within your company or prepare yourself for your future if you're not a leader yet when you will become a leader so you can better lead your team and really be a people leader so comment below one time which of these five skills are you going to work on in 2021 which ones are you going to build yeah share it with me one time i'm going to get back to you of course as usual as well Again, if you haven't done it yet, by the way, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.